dramatic pitches and steep banks, China shows off its next generation fighter plane. This is the J-31, a stealth fighter. It can come in, uh, as the U.S. has stealth fighters, stealth bombers, come in uh, in a full up radar environment and not be detected. Analysts say this jet could be designed for mid to low altitude attacks and may be deployed from an aircraft carrier. The J-31 looks stunningly like a late model American stealth fighter, the F-35. It's been pretty clear, and I think the U.S. government has been pretty clear in making its claims, which I have no reason to doubt, uh, that, the chi that Chinese hackers have been targeting defense contractors, uh, U.S. government facilities, and others. Several published reports say the Chinese got the blueprints for the F-35 through a cyber assault on a contractor for Lockheed Martin and built their fighter jet with the same specs. The Chinese have denied that. A Lockheed Martin official told us the Chinese didn't get the crown jewels, the most sensitive information about the F-35. China tested the J-31 right as President Obama was in Beijing for the Asia-Pacific summit. It comes on the heels of China christening its first aircraft carrier, sending ships to islands whose territory has long been disputed. Analysts say this isn't about confronting America militarily, but about reducing U.S. military influence in its neighborhood. What the Chinese military is trying to do is to be able to put their military out further from China, out into the Pacific, in the air, under the sea, and on the sea, in order to deter others from coming too close to China. It's also about prestige. It's also about the status of China. It's also about using platforms like aircraft carriers to perform what's called military operations other than war, humanitarian relief, uh, that kind of thing. The United States uses its aircraft carriers for that purpose quite a lot. Now, analysts th say China is still far behind the U.S. in pure hardware and raw military power, but they still worry that with China now flexing more military muscle, one of these two powers is going to be so concerned someday with projection of power in the Pacific that it's going to overreact in a crisis or that it might escalate what seems now to be an arms race.